Hi there and welcome to my channel. If you haven't seen this face before, my name is Abigail and I make videos about being a mum and my experiences associated with that. Today's video is going to be a what's in my hospital bag video or more a what was in my hospital bag video. I gave birth five months ago to a little boy called Samuel. He's the joy and delight of my life and this is what today's video is going to be about and what it's going to go through and show you the things that I took with me um, the things that sometimes I think it's quite good to do it afterwards because you can see the things that I actually used as well um, as the things that I perhaps didn't use. So I found these videos really really useful when I was pregnant because I wanted to get a kind of comprehensive list of the things that I would definitely definitely need just so I didn't miss anything off. So I took quite a few things but I did use most of the things that I took. So a bit of background about me, I live in Scotland in the UK, um, if you live here and near Glasgow and in the UK we have the NHS which is an absolutely amazing resource, one of the main reasons I live in Scotland. The Scotland weather is absolutely horrible so I probably wouldn't live here if it wasn't for things like the NHS and I could just make a whole video raving about how amazing the NHS is. So let's get on into it. Here is my hospital bag. Um, this is actually packed, packed full of things. Oh, and before I started, I wanted to say that I'm going to make a separate video about what is in my baby's hospital bag, what I took for my newborn baby. This is just the stuff that I took for myself, um, for care of myself in the hospital. So, if we start off here, um, oh yeah, the bag itself my friend gave me. It's a lovely, lovely purple kind of colour. It's absolutely gorgeous. I don't actually know where it's from because it was a gift from my friend for my birthday. It says catwalk on the label, so I don't know if that tells you where it's from. So the first thing that I have in my bag here is a case where I brought some makeup. So if I open it up here, I have my contact lens case. So I wear contact lenses, so I'm going to need my contact lens case. I also took contact lens solution with me as well. I brought some makeup, so the makeup that I brought was foundation, I brought powder, eyebrows um, makeup, a brush for my powder, and a mascara as well. So yeah, I didn't use any of those makeup items with. I thought I might because I do quite like to put makeup on if I'm, especially if I'm getting pictures taken and I thought if I'm getting pictures taken with my newborn baby I would want to take photos of um, wearing a bit of makeup but I didn't actually end up doing that. I was too exhausted and I just didn't care. But if you think you might wear makeup just take it just in case you might have more time than me. I only stayed in the hospital one night so I didn't have a huge amount of time to wear the makeup. But if you stay in hospital more often you might have more time to wear it. So the next thing that I brought with me was moisturiser. I did use this. This was really, really good because hospitals can be quite drying because they're quite warm. I also took deodorant. I used that. Took toothbrush, toothpaste. Yep, that was useful. And lip balm. Again, hospitals are pretty drying. The one I took and the best lip balm I think is out there is Nivea Original Care. So that's a Nivea lip balm. And then the last couple of things in this little bag that I took with me was dental floss, yes I used that, and a hair tie as well as some hair grips. So those things were the things that I took in that little bag. I also took my glasses with me, so yes I wear contact lenses, of course I'm going to need my glasses. I wore these after giving birth um, when it was night time and I wanted to go to sleep, so yeah I should have them in a case actually but I just yeah, I don't put them in a case. Put them in a case if you take them with you because otherwise they'll get damaged. My next thing that I took was a pair of flip flops. These ones are from Primark. They are amazing. They were £1. I bought them in the summer. And yes, hospital floors can be pretty dirty. So I would recommend taking some kind of footwear, whether slippers or flip flops. I found it to be roasting, roasting hot in the hospital. So flip flops were the best option for me. Next thing in here is my phone. I use this quite a lot to just update people about whether or not I'd given birth and do then pictures as well. And alongside that, a power bank. I would recommend taking a power bank just in case you don't have access to your power, a power outlet near you. 
Then I have in here lots more boring stuff, um, but necessary stuff as well. Conditioner. This is one of my favourite conditioners. It is Tresemme Pro Collection Keratin Smooth. This is quite a nice conditioner. I took that with me. And then I just took, I don't really care about the shampoo that I use, so I just took a sample that I have. This is Coors. So I think I got it from a hotel when I was on holiday. So I just took a little sample size of shampoo. Then next thing that I have in here is I have a nightdress. So I'll just put this back down just so I can show you a little bit better. The nightdress that I was recommended to take by a lot of people on YouTube and other people was a maternity nightdress. So this has like button down details here just to make breastfeeding a bit easier because I was going to breastfeed. I think if I went back now I would just take leggings and a t-shirt and just my nursing bra. I didn't really, I, used, I wore this but I didn't like it as much as if I just taken leggings and a nursing bra. The next thing that I brought was a dressing gown. So this is a lovely one that my friend brought me with a lovely, lovely pattern. She, that she, my friend bought me for my birthday as well, along with that bag. Um, I did use this because I wanted to be covered up when I was going around in the hospital. I um, didn't want to be completely naked or half naked all the time. The next thing that I brought that was for use during labour was a pair of shorts. These ones were from Primark again, about three pounds I think. Just really short shorts, just to be as comfortable and as cool as possible during labour when you get absolutely roasting. The next thing that I have in my bag, I'll bring my bag back up here. The next thing that I brought was a change of clothes, so a t-shirt. I brought jeans, pants, socks usual kind of change of clothes that you would need and that was my going home outfit, just the most basic things that I could find. The next thing was a nursing bra, I think I took two of these. This is just a really really a really really basic one, um, just with a pull down front. It's not my favourite nursing bra but this is the one that I took and it, and it did the job at the time. I took a sleep mask which was amazing because I didn't realise that they left the lights on all the time in the hospital and people can turn the lights on and off whenever they want which is good for yourself when you want to feed the baby but it's a pain when you're trying to sleep um, so I use this sleep mask quite a lot this is just a kind of silky one that I got from Amazon for just a few pounds um, and it's lovely the next thing that I brought is the necessary things so I took I brought this this is if you want to see the brand of this this is Terra Lady it's actually for incontinence, so essentially what it is, is a pair of white pants, they're disposable ones, it's, uh, like I said it's for incontinence but it does the job amazingly for afterbirth and um, when you're going to be bleeding quite a lot. It's just got a really really thick like lining here and yeah just like a pair of pants and you, you just rip them off and dispose them once you're done with them. So what I actually did was I took with in my hospital bag with me to like a bunch of sanitary pads, quite thick ones, thicker ones than this, a bunch of always sanitary pads and then I put, took this off and I put it in here and then I reused the pants um, to maybe two or three times and then I threw them out and that was actually amazing. These things, these are so comfy, much, much better than pants. Um, I actually love this, I would still wear these even though they're not the most attractive things ever but they're absolutely amazing for just after giving birth and the, by far the best thing that I took in my hospital bag. The next thing I had in here was hand sanitizer. Didn't use this at all, didn't bother. Um, I also had chewing gum. Yeah, I used this when I could be boy brushing my teeth. That came in handy. I also brought a bunch of breast pads. These were the Lansano breast pads. Um, so to put in your bra to make sure that your milk doesn't leak everywhere. Anyone's had a baby will know this is actually kind of completely pointless because you only have colostrum the first few days. I only stayed in one night so I didn't need them. I took them just in case. I didn't need them. I use them now though and they are pretty good. So the last few things that I have in here. I took a trusty Asda bag for life. This was for my laundry. Yes I used this. This is good just to put all the dirty kind of clothes and the baby clothes in as well. I took some headphones and an mp3 player. The idea behind this was that I was going to listen to lovely, lovely, calming music throughout my labour and I was going to breathe through labour and it was going to be amazing. I didn't listen to music once in my entire labour because I was just so focused on my breathing and just trying to keep the pain at bay 
So I didn't use these, but I might be a good option if the music's something that really does calm you down. I took them um, thinking I was going to use them the whole time, and I didn't use them once. And then I brought my maternity notes. This is just the ones that they give you in the NHS. Actually, everything is um, online now, so this was kind of pointless. They never, they always say take your maternity notes with you, but they never actually use them. They never take them off of you. So take them just in case, but I didn't need them. And inside this, I took my birth plan. So that was the things that were gonna, that I wanted to happen. My, basically my ideal birth was my birth plan. I took it in this ready to give out if I needed to. And then my last two things in my hospital bag was a notebook and a pen. So what I did for this was I wrote down the baby's feeding times, the baby's changing times, because when they generally do ask you quite a lot, how many wet nappies, how many dirty nappies have they had? And you're generally probably not gonna remember. You're just gonna be like, I don't know, because you're, you're tired. And so I just wrote it down and that was really, really handy. So I'd recommend taking them. So the only other things that I took with me that are not in this video was I took a big massive like kind of the shaped fan um, into the hospital. They let us bring it in because I was thinking I was going to be absolutely roasting during labour and I was and the fan was probably one of the best things I took as well. It was absolutely amazing. My husband was like just can I, can I bring in the fan? He was, they were like okay. <laughs> it was great. I really, really loved that. So if they let you do that in your hospital I would recommend that. And the other thing I took in was Lucasaid because you're not meant to eat as much. Um, in labour I was absolutely felt horribly sick so I couldn't eat anyway. But I would, um, I took that Lucasaid which again it also made me sick but it's meant to be quite good for keeping your sugars up. I, I, I used it because I thought I should and it should keep my fluids levels up and yes you should. I wish I'd brought more water actually because water would have stayed down a bit better I think just for me in the situation that I had at the time. So in addition to the things that I took, thinking back now the things that I wanted, that I would have taken extra, these were only a few things actually, so I would have taken painkillers. They, they do give you painkillers at our hospital for free, but I just prefer just to have them in my bag, just so I could take them whenever I wanted, rather than having to ask every time. So I would have taken some paracetamol and some ibuprofen as well. The other thing that I would have taken would have been some snacks. So the hospital food was okay, I really just craved after giving birth something like substantial though and chocolatey and all those kind of things so I wish I'd taken them with me as well and like I said I wish I'd also taken more water but apart from that everything I took I pretty much used most of the stuff that I took and um, like I said my highlights would have been the reusable pants and the fan those were amazing and the best things that I took by far so if you're just about to give birth I wish you all the best I'm sure it's going to be amazing and, and you'll be really really excited about this new life that's coming into the world and I'm really excited for you Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content about being a mum and my experiences and just join in on the discussion a bit more. And thank you for watching again. Bye everyone.